Japan's Coast Guard is on high alert against increased activity by Chinese maritime survey vessels in Japan's exclusive economic zone in the East China Sea. The two countries are supposed to give prior notice before carrying out surveys in the other side's zone. But the Chinese side is ignoring the agreement and continuing its activities. The Coast Guard used to spot the ships only a few times a year, but recently they are being seen every month. Seven cases have been reported since July. The Coast Guard says it receives notification from China, but many of the vessels are in areas other than those specified. It says the Chinese ships insist they are conducting legitimate research when they reply to warnings from surveillance vessels or planes, but some ships do not respond to the calls. The Coast Guard adds that more Chinese fisheries surveillance vessels are being spotted near the Senkaku Islands in Okinawa Prefecture following the collision incidents in September last year. China wants to investigate the seabed and natural resources in the East China Sea, partly for military purposes. By entering the zone many times, they are aiming to protect their interests in the East China Sea. The boats have appeared 14 times so far, and one of them intruded into Japanese maritime territory in August for the first time. Japanese defense officials say two Russian bombers took an unusual course circling around Japan. The defense ministry says two Tu-95 bombers from the Russian Air Force approached Japanese airspace near the Strait of Tsushima on Thursday morning. Fighter planes from Japan's Air Self-Defense Force scrambled to track the bombers. The aircraft later flew southward over the East China Sea and then south of Okinawa's main island. Afterwards, it moved to the Pacific side before skirting along the Japanese archipelago northward. The bombers continued flying over the Strait of Soya while being fueled mid-air. They then headed south on the Japan Sea side before leaving areas near Japan. The defense ministry says the bombers did not violate Japan's airspace, but it was an unusual route for any Russian military aircraft. The Russian Air Force has been active around Japan recently. Bombers and spy planes have approached Japanese airspace five times since last month.